Hi, this is Bill from Hiragari. I've got another tutorial for you. This one's nice and quick. This is how you can have custom icons for all of your devices in audio MIDI setup in macOS. So I load audio MIDI setup, I'm in the MIDI studio window. So as you can see, I've got my MIDI interface, I've got my AMT 8 there, and then I've got my keyboards and all of my different devices hanging off it. But they've all got kind of the generic icon, and even if I have a look here at what icons there are, none of them really look like, they're kind of, you know, generic, I mean, but I don't have any of the gear that actually looks like this. And sometimes I don't have my glasses or my contacts in, and if I want to make changes, just a little bit easier to see. So what I'm going to do is go into Safari, and I'm just going to start Googling for the devices that I've got. So I've got an Alesis uh, Micron. I'm just going to Google Images. And there is my Alesis Micron right here. So what I'll do is I'll just click on that, and I'm going to right-click, Save Image As, and I'm just going to put a little folder here on my desktop. And I'm going to call this custom. And I'll call this this is Micron. And basically, I'm just going to go and complete this for all of the other devices uh, that I have. <laughs> I have a folder here called custom and I have my all of my pictures labeled up in here so I know what they belong to and these are the pictures that I want to use for my icons. If I go back into audio MIDI setup here and have a look, I've got a choice between two folders. I've got generic and I've got native instruments because I've got a uh, couple of native instrument pieces of kit as well. So what I'll do is I'll open up my finder, go straight to the root directory and I'm going to go to library audio, MIDI devices, and inside here you can see those two folders, generic and native instruments. If I click there, there's a subfolder inside called images. So what I'm going to do is take my custom images folder, I'm going to create a new folder inside, images, dump all those in there, and I'm going to copy that folder in there. You will need to authenticate. And now, if I go into any of these devices, I should be able to open the browser. I can now see custom, and I can select the icon. So this is the KN3000, so I'll select the KN3000, hit apply, and now my icon matches my actual device. So I'll go through and do this for all of them. <laughs> And now I have an audio MIDI set up where the icons look exactly like the thing sitting on my racks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. Click the little bell button underneath to make sure that you get notified as soon as a new video goes up. Thanks very much for watching.